Hi everyone, it's Amanda and Monica Arlumi. We have another tutorial for you today. Um, we're going to show you how to make our Propel Gleam bracelet. This is actually made on two looms. Uh, we don't really like a lot of extensions, so we like to make them to actually fit our wrist. So this would fit on there just like this and uh, fits me perfectly. So, But today, for video purposes, I'm just going to show you how to make it on one loom. I've chosen five colors and we're going to get started. These right here are just some prototypes, prototypes of, um, you know, when I was playing around trying to figure out the design. Um, these aren't the best colors. Jellies don't really pop out the colors like I like, but, um, you know, we were just playing around and trying to decide, decide and design something new. So, this is actually reversible. This is the main side, the one with the pink on the front. Um, you can wear it like this as well, but this is the, the front side and the main side. So, and this is our Propel Gleam. You can actually follow us on Instagram, and if you decide to make any of our creations, you just hashtag us at AML, and we'll check there periodically to see your designs and comment and like on those. So let's get started. We're going to have just standard configuration with your arrows pointing away from you. And what we are going to do is just do a triple single basically to start off with. So we're going to be doing all three rows in the middle. Sorry of myself here. I'm using um, this purple color right here is from the Mermaid Silicone Collection. They aren't the best rainbow loom bands to work with, but they are very pretty colors and they do pop out your bracelets a lot. So we're going to go all the way to the very end and we're going to turn in. All right. Back to the bottom, push these down, and we're going to go straight up the middle. I like to have quite a few in my hand just so I don't have to go back and forth reaching for them so I can get the ball rolling pretty quickly. And this is a very basic. In the beginning, so we're going to push those down, go over to the right, and all the way to the end of the loom again. So the first color that I'm going to use, um, you can't see it as well, but um, the first color is going to be the neon orange. And once again, all the bands that I'm using are from Rainbow Loom. Um, you kind of need sturdy bands for this type of bracelet. So the orange you can see mainly on the back side, but that's going to be the first color that we're going to lay. And we're going to take it from the first pin on the left, stretch it all the way to the third pin in the middle. Same for the opposite side. Push those down. I'm going to take my neon green. We're going to go there, left to in the middle, right to in the middle. I'm going to switch colors again. These are the new neon orange from, uh, sorry, neon pink from Michaels which the texture is great. Um, we really love these bands. We're going to take that from the middle and to the left. Middle and to the right. Right? Now we're going to go back with our orange. Push, push these down. Left all the way to the middle. Right all the way to the middle. 
my neon green again, push these down. You kind of want to push these down in the middle as well because there are a few bands on there. So I'm just going to go all the way up the loom with this sequence. The only thing with this bracelet is you just want to make sure that you keep them pushed down. I'll show you just a couple more times and then we'll come back with the finished product of laying of the bands. Like I said, I like to have a couple of bands in my hand at a time, the, the amount that I'm going to be working with at that moment, so I don't have to keep grabbing. Last time I'm going to show you, and then if you need to, you can rewind and go back and watch the sequence, but it's very, very simple. Not very hard at all. Alright, and we'll be right back, and we'll show you the finished product on the loom. Alright, so this is what your loom should look like all the way to the end of the loom. So our last step before we actually start to, to loop the bracelet, we're just going to push these down on the sides. And for this bracelet, obviously you can use any colors that you want. This one, um, we just kind of had to play around with it a lot to see what colors worked best. Hang on, let me start over. Um, we're going to be putting cap bands on the side here all the way on each one of these. Um, this this one that we started off with, or this one that I started we started off with, is just two wraps around the side for the cap band, and it looked a little bit too frilly and kind of messy. So we decided to go ahead and do three wraps on the cap band, and it makes it a little bit tighter, and it's pretty thick and pretty sturdy so we decided to go with that so for these we're gonna do cap bands all the way up through here and we're gonna wrap three times all the way up very simple and it's probably best to use a totally different color for your cap band here because if you can see how it just kind of pops out and adds just a little bit more color there. And once again, we are wrapping three times instead of two. Just gives that tighter fit. Oh, that one, there we go. And we're going to go all the way down the loom. Push those down too because it's always easier to get a better spot. And this one right here, this is going to be our last cap band on the left side. And this side may take me a little bit longer to wrap because it is the opposite side. And I'm just a dork like that. And the wonderful cuckoo clock is going off. <laughs> Sorry. You know, us girls from Kentucky. That's right. We country girls. No, not really. I'm so not a country girl. Let's just put that. We are very, very city girls. We do not like the woods. No. We like a concrete garden. Exactly. <laughs> Our bright lights and our big city. Um, this one's 
being stubborn. Sorry guys. One, two, three. Sometimes it does help when you're wrapping pretty quick if you put your finger on there so they don't pop off and you don't lose that wrap that you just did. Is that what you're going to do to me next time I pop off? Pretty much. I'm just going to backhand you. Alright, so we have our triple wrapped cap bands on the right side and the left side. And then we're just going to put a typical cap band down here on the end. I'm using it the same as my perimeter colors. And I like to wrap all of my cap bands that I'm ending my bracelet with at least three times. Because I don't like it to be really, really loose. But that's just my preference. So now we are going to start looping. All right, our loom is now turned around and we're going to start to loop. All right, we're gonna go in between this cap band. We're gonna pull the first band that's on top, which is gonna be our side band. We're gonna pull that onto itself, onto the left-hand side. Go back into the cap band, pull it out, and go to the right-hand side. Now underneath, you're gonna see these perimeter bands. We wanna leave those alone right now, and we're gonna save those to the very end. So for this sequence, we're going to go in over to the left hand side, pull this one back onto itself. Same for the right hand side, go underneath the cap band and onto itself. So from here on this point, we're going to go into the middle and we're going to loom everything that's underneath these bands except for the perimeter. Pull this one over to the left, over to the right. Orange bands that are going to be underneath, pull these over to the left and to the right. So we should have our full sequence right there. Now we're going to go into the right hand, I'm sorry, left hand side cap band. Pull that one over. Back into the other side. Sometimes they're hard to grab. There's a lot of bands there. Especially if they're jelly, they're slippery. That kind of feel to them. Alright, back into the middle. First band over to the left. I'm going to go ahead and push those down just a little bit. Over to the right. You still should have those orange bands in there or whichever color you prefer. Now, hopefully, you're kind of catching on to the sequence right now. So, we're going to start on the left. right and into the middle. Make sure you have all those bands except the perimeter bands that are left. So remember left, right, and all the bands in the middle. I'll do two more sequences for you and then if you're having trouble catching on you can always rewind and go back. one more time and then we're gonna go off and off camera and finish and come back and 
and last one. So I'm going to stop right there and we'll come back in just a minute. All right, so we've finished looping the bands except for the perimeter because um, we're going to go in underneath all of these bands, the cap bands, they're there and we're going to loop the perimeter. So it's basically just um, here on out looping the perimeter like a tr like you would for just a, a, a triple single or a waterfall, whichever you want to call it. So we go in the cap band once again down here on the bottom. I like to get everything cleared off of the bottom pegs before I move on. And just pull the bands, whichever on top, to do your single chain. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to loop up. This one, um, even though it's a, an easy process, it may be just a little bit tight because of those cap bands. And then plus with these silicone bands, it does make it a little bit harder. But just make sure you have a pretty strong band that you can use as your perimeter. If not, you may have some broken bands. But we can always fix broken bands. That one's a little bit tight. So just like a triple single, we're going to do There's a lot of bands on there, so and for these two we're gonna leave here at the very till the very end. So we're gonna start back here at the bottom. You can either go up the middle or you can go up the side. My personal preference is to do the hardest ones first, save the easiest ones for last. And we all know that the middle bands and a triple single is the easiest ones to loop. Push those down a little bit. Alright, back up in the middle, you're going to go in between those bands there. Make sure your pin bar doesn't pop off of the loom. And like I said, this one is pretty easy. Fly right through this one. And yes, I did say fly. I believe I can fly. Because I'm from Kentucky. Okay, let's just stop that. We're stereotyping ourselves. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and do the last one here for in the middle. Come over here to the left hand side. Pull that one out. And loop it to the middle. Alright, so everything should be looped should look like this and we're gonna go ahead and pull it off the loom after we put our bands through and we like to use double bands when we're pulling it off the loom just because we've had too many wonderful creations that we've made and bracelets and charms and whatnot and used a single band and then pulling that off the loom it breaks so we learn by experience and I'm gonna go ahead and see clip this maybe maybe not all right so everything is on my C clip I still like to keep it on the hook 
because the hook is a little bit stronger than that C-clip. Now this one is going to be just a little tight to pull off of the loom just because of all of your cap bands. So you want to be extra careful when you are pulling it off. Just kind of take it from side to side and hold down. You do want to hold down here on the back side. That way you don't break your pin bars or break bands. And like I said, it is a little bit tricky. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, take that off my hook, stretch it out a little bit. And there you have your Propel Gleam bracelet. Like we said before, it is reversible. You can do it on either side, but this is the side that we did create for uh, to be shown. Um, it just depends on what your preference is, but we do like this one better. Um, this is made on one loom, obviously, and then this one is made on two. We just like to make them to fit our rest, like I said in the beginning. And then if you need to, you can add an extension. Pretty much of most of you know how to do that. Just make a triple single, put your cap band on there, and then there's your extension. But there's our Propel Gleam bracelet. Check us out on Instagram. We are Amanda and Monica are Lumi. If you make any of our any of our creations, we would absolutely love to see them. We love all of our all of our followers and appreciate appreciate you guys so much. So just hashtag us AML um, for all the creations that you make. If you do decide to make this, and we'd love to see them. So thanks. We hope you enjoy. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and have a great day. Thanks.